Here is a case of referred case of ureteric perforation with proximal ureteric stone. The management we are sharing in this video, 70 year old male patient left to proximal ureteric calculus with left pyelonephritis preoperative diagnosis, attempted left DJ stenting, failed elsewhere, documented that ureteric was perforated and referred. When we have gone inside ureter orifice was edematous, ureter also was edematous. First step we did is RGP so that we can document the ureteric perforation. Clear cut ureteric perforation and extravasation was present. Ultrasound guided uh, puncture is the next step taken. The ultrasound PCS was dilated fortunately. The lower pole was aimed way before the below the posterior axial line in supine position. Ultrasound dilated puncture is done. The urine has clearly shown pus within 48 hours of the intervention. Position of the needle as well as the so this was essential. The positioning of the guide wire and uh, the location of the calyx is identified. Then nephrostomy tube is inserted. After three weeks, uh, nephrostogram is done. Clear cut uh, dye going into the bladder is seen, uh, ruling out the extravasation as well as complete stricture. Then we attempted ureteroscopy to remove the stone. There was edema at the site of the puncture. So we wanted to avoid intervention from retrograde fashion. So we came with, uh, in fact, uh, we tried flexible scopy also, but a little narrowing was there. Then uh, we did antigrade approach. We dilated the track. We went with uh, nephroscope. Fortunately, in supine position from the lower calyx, we could reach to the upper ureter. Then the stone is removed. After the stone removed, we have done nephrostogram. The dye has gone easily into the ureter. We put a larger stent this time. And after two weeks, the stent is also removed. Patient is doing postoperatively well, two months post-op now. No hydronephrosis significant. We will follow up this patient for hydronephrosis as well as the function postoperatively. Thank you.